Adolin tried to stumble forward, and then he saw his father. Delano charged toward the king, moving with a speed and grace no man, not even one wearing shard plate, should be able to manage. He leaped over a rock shelf, then ducked and skidded beneath a claw swinging for him. Other men thought they understood shard blades and shard plate, but Dalinar Colin, at times, he proved them all children. Dalinar straightened and leaped, still moving forward, cresting by inches a second claw that smashed down. It was all just a moment, a breath. The third claw was falling toward the king, and Dalinar leapt forward. He dropped his blade. It hit the ground and puffed away as he skidded beneath the falling claw. He raised his hands and... He caught the claw. He bent beneath the blow, going down on one knee, but he caught it. Adolin's breath caught in his chest. Dalinar held back the claw and matched its strength, a figure in dark, silvery metal that almost seemed to glow. That moment, Adolin knew he was seeing him. The Black Thorn, the very man he'd been wishing he could fight alongside. The plate of Dalinar's gauntlets and shoulders began to crack, webs of light moving down the ancient metal. Adolin finally shook himself into motion. His shard blade formed in his hand, and he scrambled to the side and sheared through the leg nearest to him. With so many legs down, the beast's other legs couldn't hold its weight, particularly when it was trying so hard to crush Dalinar. The remaining legs on its right side snapped, spraying out violet ichor, and the beast toppled to the side. 